Yellowstone National Park sits decisively finished a monster, dynamic well of lava. This requires consideration. Yellowstone has been a national stop since 1872, however it was just in the 1960s that researchers understood the size of the well of lava, it's 44 miles crosswise over, and not until the point when the 1980s did they get a handle on that this thing is completely alive and still debilitates to emit calamitously. Yellowstone is fit for emissions a great many circumstances more brutal than the Mount St. Helens ejection of 1980. The northern Rockies would be covered in numerous feet of fiery remains. Fiery debris would rain on nearly everybody in the United States. It'd be an awful day. Accordingly geologists are anxious to comprehend what, precisely, is occurring underneath each one of those spring of gushing lava-filled hot springs and fountains. Clearly they'd get a kick out of the chance to know whether and when Yellowstone will blow once more, and with what level of hazardousness. A noteworthy omission would be a low likelihood, high outcome occasion, a notorious black swan, something that could have societal and planetary impacts. The issue for researchers is that these enormous supervolcano ejections once in a while happen, and the most essential activity is outside of anyone's ability to see, numerous miles beneath the surface, including tumultuous powers, complex science and baffling geographical highlights. One new examination has offered understanding on Yellowstone's shrouded engineering. It demonstrated the way magma ascends from somewhere down in the Earth's inside and makes two expansive assemblies of halfway liquefied shake underneath the surface of the national stop. These two magma chambers are stacked, and isolated by a layer, called a ledge, like a window ledge, of non-liquefied shake. The magma ascending from the Earth's mantle streams effectively and doesn't hold much gas. It cools and cements as it crashes into generally frosty hull, framing the ledge, the highest point of which is around 6 miles underneath the surface. Over the ledge is the upper magma chamber, with thick, sticky magma that holds a lot of gas, which makes the magma in the upper chamber hazardous. It resembles an unopened container of pop that has been shaken. Open the can at your risk. The new examination, distributed in geophysical research letters, clarifies how this two-layered, geochemically various design may have occurred throughout time. Sometime or another we may have a model depiction saying this is the thing that the framework looks like when there's sufficient dissolve for there to be a huge ejection, lead creator Dylan Colon, an Earth Sciences doctoral competitor at the University of Oregon, revealed to the Washington Post. The examination won a claim from Michael Poland, researcher in control at the U.S. Land Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, what's flawless about their model is they can backpedal in time with it and perceive how it may have affected emission rates a huge number of years prior. The new investigation supports prior research on the double magma chambers. It utilized sensors showed around Yellowstone to record the speed at which seismic waves from little tremors go through the subsurface shake. Such waves move all the more gradually through hot as well as halfway dissolved shake arrangements. That information gave researchers what might as well be called a MRI demonstrating the two magma chambers. Supervolcano, we should note, isn't a specialized term. The specialists allude to Yellowstone as a caldera or a caldera shaping well of lava. Some volcanoes frame con shaped mountains. A caldera is a fountain of liquid magma that makes a tremendous hole. These are mountain gulping occasions. Guests to Yellowstone are given a guide demonstrating the diagram of the latest caldera, and on the off chance that they go to the correct vantage direct it's conceivable toward see that the core of the recreation center is amazingly free of mountains. They were either overwhelmed or fell onto the enormous opening. The Yellowstone district has seen three major emissions, the first 2.1 million years prior, the latest 630,000 years back as opposed to internet talk mongering, and in addition paranoid fears about government cover-ups, there's no sign that a fourth destructive occasion is going to happen. It's conceivable, truth be told, that Yellowstone is getting somewhat old and tired. It might be prepared for a long rest instead of a noteworthy ejection. Ilya Bindeman, a University of Oregon geochemist and co-creator of the new paper, 
said that Yellowstone might be moving toward the finish of its development since such a large amount of the material in the upper magma chamber is reused and remelted after past emissions. As Poland stated, how often will you like to warm your remains? Eventually you will state I'm not going to warm his. You've microwaved it six times and it's not any more sustenance. Scholarly quietude is called for here. No one can state with extraordinary certainty how much magma it takes to trigger a caldera framing ejection. Besides, moderately little ejections making magma streams can occur inside the Yellowstone framework. The latest was 70,000 years prior. The specialists say one of these littler ejections is substantially more likely than a Goliath blast. Theory that Yellowstone is expected to emit disastrously infers that the well of lava acts typically, similar to a machine. Geologists know generally. Yellowstone, it ought to be noted, isn't the main caldera in the United States. One of the others that merits watching out for, and the U.S. Land Survey does only that, is the Long Valley Caldera in California, close to the well-known ski resort of Mammoth Mountain, only east of Yosemite National Park. It ejected 700,000 years back. A noteworthy emission is amazingly far-fetched. Yet it could deliver little or ejections that would be very troublesome and perilous, said Margaret Mangan, researcher in control at the USGS California Volcano Observatory. Mangan said there are seven volcanic areas in California with zones of liquid shake underneath the surface. A volcanic ejection in California is generally as likely as a size 6 or more prominent seismic tremor on the San Andreas Fault, she said. In any case, Californians don't stress over volcanoes. They stress over seismic tremors, waves and out-of-control fires," she said. She has attempted to raise open consciousness of fountain of liquid magma dangers yet says that it is difficult to get much consideration. The mindfulness level and readiness level is very low in this state, she said. We get ready for those substantial seismic tremor occasions, and we have to get ready for volcanic ejections. 